Lentil Rice Relay Cropping – Best Practices for Higher Yields and Profits Lentil thrives in full sun in loose and well-drained soil. This makes lentil a good relay crop with rice fields in Nepal. A relay crop is one that is planted before the current crop in the field is harvested. There are many benefits to relay cropping lentil with rice. These include Reduced tillage, which reduces soil erosion and enhances the quality of the soil through crop materials being left in the field. Timely planting, as you do not need to wait until the rice is harvested before planting your lentil. Water conservation, low cost of cultivation. It is estimated that you can save up to 20% of labor cost relay cropping versus tillage cropping. In this video, you will learn the best practices for lentil rice relay cropping for higher yields and profits. Plan to plant your lentil 10 to 15 days prior to your rice harvest. You will need 40 to 45 kilograms of seed per hectare for relay cropping. A few days before planting, use the footprint soil moisture test to determine if you should hydroprime your seeds for better germination. Simply walk in your field. If your footprint leaves an impression in the ground and no mud is left on your foot, then there is enough water in the field to provide natural germination of your lentil seed. If your footprint does not leave an impression in the ground, you will need to hydroprime your seeds. If mud is left on your foot when walking in your field, it is too wet to plant. To hydroprime your seeds, simply soak your lentil seeds in water for 12 hours, then allow them to dry on a tarp in the shade for 2-3 to three hours. You will also need to inoculate your seeds with rhizobium a soil bacterium that will help the plant produce valuable proteins. Put 100 grams of sugar per liter of water and boil. Once cooled, blend in your lentil seeds. Then add 5 grams of rhizobium per kilogram of seed. Make sure each seed is coated evenly. Remove the seeds from the mixture and dry on a tarp in the seed for 20 to 30 minutes. Most soil in Nepal lacks boron. The lack of this micronutrient is linked to reduced crop yield. Symptoms of lack of boron include stunted plants or yellowing leaves. If you notice these symptoms, apply 2% urea foliar spray. To help control diseases like stem film blight, treat seeds with fungicides like bevestin or vitavex Add 3 gram per kg seed and plant timely. You should only plant lentil seeds on a field a maximum of every other year. Ideally, if it is practical, you should only plant lentil in the same field every 1 in 4 years. Following these best practices for relay cropping of lentil and rice will lead to a successful lentil cropping season.